Welcome boys and girls, another group time. I'm so glad you joined us. Today we're gonna do our stretches in a different way. We've done this a couple of times and I think it was fun. So I have some papers laying on my desk and I'm gonna pull one out. Whoa, you have to act like a gorilla. Ready? Woo, woo, woo. Did you jump very far? All right. Now I'm gonna pull out another one. I don't know what it is. Ooh, a horse. Let's gallop. Come on. Your mama might let you run through the kitchen and come back. Are you back? All right. Ooh, this is a fun one. A dolphin. Ready? Has anybody seen a dolphin this summer? Oh, an elephant. Clomp, 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 clomp. Okay. Oh, a snake. Slither. All around. God made a lot of things. And today, our Bible verse is in the very book, first book in the Bible, Genesis 1, 1. First book, first verse. In the beginning, God made the world. Let's do that again. In the beginning, God made the world. Genesis 1, 1. Very good. <clears throat> the story is also in Genesis 1, 1. Now remember that's in the Old Testament and it's in the very first chapter of the Bible. God created the world and it tells us that when he created the world, that water covered everything. It was dark. So God said, let there be light. So he had light and darkness. That was day one. Then day two came. He made this great big sky. And that was day two. Then the next day, he gathered up the dry land in different places. He put the water in certain places. He made oceans and he made rivers. But the waters were in one place and the land. And then he made trees and shrubs. And with those trees and shrubs, there were seeds. Like in my house, I have roses and maybe crepe myrtles. There's seeds in each of them little pl plants, or blooms, and when you take that seed, it would grow another rose bush or another crepe myrtle. And then there's an apple tree, not in my yard, further north, and there's an apple seed, and that grows an apple tree. That's how God had planned it. So that was day three. Well, on day four, God knew he had light and he had darkness, but he thought there needs to be some lights that rule these. So in the light, he made a sun. And at night, he made the moon and the stars. And that was day four. So then we get to day five and he made things that would swim in the oceans and he made birds to fly in the sky. And it, everything he did, it was good. Then on day six, he made creepy crawly things on the land and lions and tigers and cows and horses and kangaroos. And then he made man. God was so good to create everything. And after those six days, God rested. Boys and girls, 
God is so good to have created this beautiful world for us. And he was so good to create you. Let's reach out wide and bring our hands together and shut our eyes. Dear God, thank you for making this wonderful world. Thank you for making each boy and girl. And thank you for loving us so much. We love you, God. Amen. Now, boys and girls, I think one fun thing to do is you can take six pieces of paper and you can write one, two, three, and then you can draw it on. You might have to listen to my story again, but maybe you want to uh, draw darkness and you want to draw light. And you can tell this story to your mama on day one, there was darkness and light. Then on day two, God made the sky. And you can keep going till you create a little book with six days in it. I had fun with y'all today and I had fun making my book. Have a good week. Love you guys.